So about a month ago, I did my soil test the first week of uh, March, and about a week later I got the results back. And today, I'm going to start making corrections based on those results. And I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to do that. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is um, I correct the pH problems. Now my pH is not terribly low, but when I adjusted it last year when it was really low, I used calcitic lime because at the time my magnesium levels uh, were optimal, but I've since discovered they've come down, plus calcitic lime doesn't really last very long. So this year, to bring up the magnesium levels and help retain the current pH I'm at, I'm going to use a dolmetic lime. And with that, I'm going to do about 25 pounds of dolmetic lime per thousand square feet. Okay, so for the lime, what I got is this dolopril. I picked this up at a local agricultural store. It's a 50 pound bag, I think it's about somewhere around $10 or something like that. Um, if you live in the Southwest Washington or even Portland area and want to know where I got this, just shoot me a message, email, whatever. And uh, I'll point you in the right direction. But um, this is a dolmetic lime, so it claims it's fast acting, but most dolmetic limes are not. Um, I don't really care if it is or isn't. I'm just trying to maintain my pH level and add back some uh, magnesium. So put 25 pounds per thousand, 2,000 square feet back here. I'm going to put the whole 50 pound back. Okay, so looking down the test, nitrogen, I don't pay any attention to that. We're applying nitrogen throughout the year anyways, right? So really don't even need to pay attention to that. Next thing on there is the phosphorus, and the phosphorus I've got more than enough of. I'm just going to avoid phosphorus the rest of the year and see what it looks like in the fall or maybe next spring. The next thing on there would be potassium, and the potassium's a little low. Now, I thought I had applied plenty of potassium last year, but apparently not enough. So what I'm going to do next is... Um, apply some sulfate of potash which is a 0050 now you'll see a lot of tests sometimes will recommend a 0060 and that's a muret of potash and that's got a lot of high salt content in it so you kind of want to avoid that um, but i picked up some 0050 locally uh, at a reasonable price if you have struggles trying to find sulfate of potash i'll leave a link in the description below you can order it from yard mastery um, and it's a 0048 almost the same thing. Anyhow, uh, I'm gonna put out about three pounds worth of potassium this year. I'm gonna do that in three increments, of about a pound per thousand, uh, three times throughout the year. Right, so with this uh, sulfate of potash, since I only need four pounds, I'm just gonna use this hand spreader and try and just kind of spread this out as evenly as I can. What do I got left? Zinc, boron, and keep everything else at the optimal level? Well, that's really easy. Zero, zero, 002 microgreen. Um, I did a full application of that roughly a month ago, and now I'm just gonna do a maintenance type application of three ounces per thousand square feet, along with RGS, Air 8, and Humic 12. So let's uh, get that done. Okay, so get everything down, just watering it in now. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention was the sulfur on the test. Now, a lot of your granular fertilizers have sulfur, but if you guys have been following along, you know I'm using nothing but Green County Furt stuff with the exception of these two applications today, which would be sulfate of potash and, and the lime. Other than that, I use nothing but liquid products back here. Um, so to help with that, 
the sulfate of potash, potash has like 17% sulfur in it, so we'll see if that raises it. Um, and then the microgreen has all the miners, so it uh, shouldn't have any problem keeping everything up. It'd be real interesting to see here in the fall if the numbers have come up at all. Anyway, if you found any value in this video, hit the like button. Um, if you have any questions or anything like that, leave a comment down below. Like I said, if you need to find something in the uh, southwest Washington, Portland area, just leave a comment. I'll try and find it for you or I'll point you in a direction that somebody might know. Anyways, uh, we'll see you in the next one.